want to uh, read a few verses from Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah in the Old Testament, chapter 53. Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground, he hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep of God astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. And this is spoken about roughly about 700 years before the Lord Jesus Christ came down from heaven onto this earth. See, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. But first off, we've got to understand that we're sinners in the sight of God. We need God's salvation. In other words, we need forgiveness for our sins. And that's exactly why the Lord Jesus Christ died upon the cross for our sins. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ does not have any sin. He knew no sin. He did no sin. And in him is no sin. And yet he was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so that what we need to do is come in repentance toward God. That is, a change of mind. In relation to salvation, repentance means a change of mind. In terms of that we understand and agree with God that yes, I realize that I am a sinner. But thy son has died for me upon the cross. Then what you need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And that can be yours. You can be saved by the grace of God through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Why don't you prepare to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ? Just don't worry about what anyone else thinks or says concerning you. Surely you'd be concerned about your own soul, your eternal soul. Now, we have an eternal soul. The spirit soul leaves our body at the moment of death. And we're going to be somewhere where we die. It's either heaven or hell. And it all depends what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ. You've just heard some fire engines here. This reminds me of the fire that shall never be quenched in the lake of fire where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. There's no need to go there. God has made the provision for your salvation and mine that we will be saved from the wrath of God through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. As I said, it's either heaven or hell. And it all depends what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ. What will you do then? With Jesus, which is called the Christ, he can be your saviour. In fact, that's what he wants for you this evening. He wants you to be saved. He wants to save your soul from a long lost eternity. No need to go down to hell. You can be in heaven when you die through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We just read here. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him, that is, on the Lord Jesus Christ, the iniquity of us all. Are you prepared to admit the fact that you are a sinner before the God of heaven? There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Just admit that to God. That's called repentance. And then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That can be yours this evening. Through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you can receive forgiveness for your sins. 
in whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. No need to go down to hell. You can be in heaven through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ.